so. Because my head's sort of cut out because you're so short. Listen. Because what's more important is tea. Tea. I'm kidding, the products are just as important. Yeah, they're pretty important. Hi there, welcome back to Blooming Beauty everybody. Today I have a special guest. This is my Biff for life, Elizabeth. Say hi. Woo! Clapping noise in the Hello. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing the popular Sucks. lip product addict tag. Questions number one. What is your favorite balm or treatment? So I think both of us are pretty into the whole balm thing. Yeah. My number one favorite is the creme de rose. It is gorgeous and then you open it and it's still gorgeous on the inside. Mm. Look at it. It smells like roses. I still thought I should mention my second favorite, which I use a lot, which is the sugar one. Look at that, it's from Fresh. Ooh, it's like lemon squares. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, are you ready? The brand is Fresh and it's called Sugar and it's like a fresh sugary scent. No? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> also like about both of these that they twist to close. So they're like, you know, safe for people like me who drop and spill a lot You're not gonna hear that from anybody else, but <laughs> <laughs> what I really like about these really expensive lip balms. <laughs> My favorite lip balm is the Nivea Lip Butter and specifically in Vanilla Macadamia Kiss, it smells like a sugar cookie, but it's really, really, really hydrating and it's three dollars. Question number two is what is your favorite eye-catching red? And red is defined in many different ways. So we're both going to show you two different types of reds. Yeah. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in mm. the color Beso. Number 10. Beso. Yeah. yeah. And you actually could kiss somebody with this because I went through like five meal courses and it didn't come off at all. This, this shit's crazy. Like, Yeah, I, I want one. And this one's just a really true red. Stays all day. It, like it says, it's called Stay That's All Day. it's called. Stay All Day. It's really smooth. Like you put it on and you feel like you're applying a butter stick to your lips. But it dries matte. It's important for things to feel like butter. Yes. Paula Deen. I'm going to put ding. This one, even though it looks like not really red, it looks like really it? dark. Yeah, this has a weird shape. Okay, anyway, it looks kind of <laughs> darker. Maybe the camera it looks a little redder, but it, in real life, it looks really dark. We put it on, and it's not really dark. It's a Laura Mercier of their matte ones, and it's called Muse. Isn't there a band called that? Yeah, they're pretty good. They have some good songs. It looks, it's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's re it's gorgeous. I'm gonna, we're gonna do swatches. Yeah. Of each I like clip, so. I like darker reds because I'm really white, and the contrast is like. You know, it looks looks pretty hot. It's, it's nice. Good. It's nice. I like. Best luxury and drugstore. It's a liquid lipstick. It's from Kat Von D and it's called Oh Lolita. I I tried it on and I was like, this is sexy. And I don't know if you see the pattern of the whole dark colors, but it's like this muted pink that I like, but in a really dark, intense version. And it is matte and it's liquid, but it doesn't feel matte. You know, because yeah, it's it comfortable. Like, it doesn't do the cracky thingies, which yeah. I'm not into. Not I'm into not the cracky into thingies. Okay, so this cracks. is sexy. My luxury lip product is something that I recently bought, but I fell in love with. Like, when I put it on. It's so pretty. Okay, I, sorry. I, I put it on <laughs> in Sephora, and I was just like, I'm going to need that. Like, as they said, it's like, that's literally, like, she popped up on my shoulder. She's like, you going to need that. And I bought the Givenchy Le Rouge. Is that how you say rouge, like, in the fan? Le, 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 le. Rouge, 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 rouge. Yes, yes. And 106 nude. And the packaging is just beautiful. It's it's leather and it has a stud. And I'm gonna put a close up here anyway. But <clears throat> now drugstore. I really like this one, and it's from Revlon. It's one of their lip butters. It's a bomb color. It's called Papaya, mm -hmm. and it's really bomb because it's not coral and it's not pink. It's kind of coral. It is coral, but it's like not a intense coral. Yeah, it leans a little bit more like on the orange, but it's exactly yeah, but yeah. It, it's flatter. It's like a papaya. <laughs> what? <laughs> that makes it hard. Oh, it's not papaya. It's juicy papaya. Oh, I also really like the texture. You know, the Revlon lip butters have bomb texture because they feel like. Nice and moisturizing. Exactly. And it's like a little bit sheer. It's not that sheer though. It has a nice color to it. But it's a good daily lipstick. My drugstore fave is also from Revlon because Revlon makes the best, best lip products. The best drugstore lipstick. <laughs> and this one is their super lustrous lipstick in the color pink in the afternoon. I think this is pretty. Just. It's pretty. It's really big. It's big? Yeah. Don't you think it's big? Like, like width? Yeah, like girth. 
<laughs> it's really flattering on any person. I keep this in my kit and I put it on everybody who wants like a natural look. Alright, next category is favorite MAC lipstick and mine happens to be Diva, which is a lot of people's favorites. It's a burgundy lipstick that's matte. I'm still watching it just like to make sure. Yeah, it's a true burgundy. It's matte. Tangle. It's really pretty and it looks really great on anybody. Like this is my go-to dark vampy lip that I want to look really and sexy. Suck people's blood. The texture is awesome. Even though it's matte, it doesn't make my lips look really dry or anything. <laughs> and all MAC lipsticks smell like Jesus' butthole. My favorite MAC lipstick is Please Me. I like matte lipsticks, but most of them are like intense colors. It looks like I'm trying too hard. Even though <laughs> I do try too hard, so I'm just fooling everyone. That's the life. Okay, but it's Please Me, and it's like a matte, rosy, mauve. Like yeah. A, like, not mauve, but like leaning on mauve. It's a dark pink with it's, it's like brown a, a very muted color that if you brighten it, it could be neon, but it's not at all. It's gorgeous, it's and it's matte, and it doesn't do the cracky thing, so it's MAC, so obviously it don't do the cracky thing, but... Really pretty. I love that shiz. It's great. Next question is most disappointing lip product, and mine is extremely disappointing. I think I cry so myself to sleep every night because of this. Elizabeth was with me when I bought this. I made a video using this and then I went out that day wearing this and my lips looked like paper mache. Uh, this is the Hourglass liquid lipstick. Yeah, it's in Riviera but I don't know what the exact oh. name of them are but this is extremely matte and it's not even in a good way. Like it feels like when you put too much mm -hmm. flour in water. Ew. Yeah, it cracked up in my lips. I mean the only reason I really haven't returned it is because it's such a pretty color that if any day I want to wear orange I'm gonna suck it up and exfoliate my lips till they're... Yeah, I just exfoliate the crap out of them, use some... such a, a lot of lip balm, and then let it sink in. <laughs> you know I can't well, talk. <laughs> the Agave Lip Mask. I, I don't I didn't want to put it in as a disappointing product, because it's like kind of my fault that it's uh, disappointing. I have uh, allergic ass skin, but after using it for like a month and a half, I got the worst lip allergy of my life, and I didn't know I didn't know what it was from. I didn't know it was from the mask, so I, I stopped using all lip products for like a month until my lips got better. It took a good month for my lips to get perfect again. Like, it took a while, and then I used it again because I didn't know that that's what it was. So then I got the allergy again, and obviously by then I was like, "Fuck ding, ding, this!" Ding, ding. Like, so the next question is lip liner, yes or no? And both of us say yes. No, definitely. I don't know why someone would say no. I mean, even if you're not into using it on the daily, that doesn't mean you don't like it. Like, it's kind of important, especially if you're doing a bold lip. It looks gross if, like, your lipstick is here. So both of us really like using lip liner to make our lips look bigger, like Kylie, Kylie Jenner. Jenner. Yeah. The MAC Boldly Bear Lip Liner. You've seen me use this in my Kylie Jenner inspired makeup. Just like it. I'm wearing it right now. Yeah, you are. I'm sorry yeah. to put it on. Yeah. And it's really nice. Lip liners aren't usually meant to be put all over your lips, but I'm a rebel and I break the rules <laughs> and I really like this color. It's meant to do Make it. You do rules. whatever you want. You express yourself and so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I have this Laura Mercier one. It's like their natural color. It's actually not. It's Did you just called it? Yeah, I heard it. You know what that was? Kardashian gave <laughs> well, Kim gave me a really pretty dress for my birthday. <laughs> Oh. If we're both unmarried by 40, we're marrying strippers. Okay, it's really cool because even though it actually isn't the exact same color as my lips because I have kind of pinker lips and it's sort of a brownie shade. So if I put it all over my lips and I actually press it, it looks kind of brown, but I don't do that. It looks like you smear poop. Yeah. It's not the same color as my lips, but it makes my lips look bigger. But I also put it a little bit on the rest and it makes the lipstick stay longer. I use it most with one of my buxom pink lipsticks. So yeah, it's nice. another thing about lip liner that it really does prolong the wear of your lipstick. It's yeah. pretty awesome. Or you can wear it alone. Or you can wear it alone! Multi-purpose! Favorite lip gloss, yeah. Heart Maracuja. I think they're just the Maracuja lip gloss. These are, ugh, they're so smooth, they're not sticky, they are pepperminty. Oh, so, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Ready, smelly. Oh my god, that must feel great. I'm yeah, it, they literally smell like candy canes. Yeah, these were the tiny <laughs> ones that came in a Christmas kit type of thing, but they do sell them individually. I don't know the color names of these, but they are like the rosy color and the nude color. These are awesome whenever I want to wear lip gloss because they're super pigmented and they're really flattering. They're just, they're, they're some nice stuff. Nice stuff. My fave was kind of hard to pick because I'm really into the Maybelline color elixirs because they're really creamy. 
but I chose this buxom lip gloss because this is like my goddess of are lip glosses girls or boys? Yeah. I guess I like boys on my lips better, so I'm gonna go with my god lip gloss. <laughs> the color Sweet Thang. It's not Thang, it's Thing, but I'm gonna say Thang. 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 <laughs> I really like the applicator because it's one of those kind of vertical ones that has a little bit of an indentation, so it fits your lip perfectly no matter what size lip you have. I'm into it. Very detailed. Let's be into it. It's not sticky, it's gorgeous. Yeah, the buxom glasses are all. Yeah. Is that this thing where you know those lip glosses you used when you were little? Uh huh. Everything that's most different from those, that's what I like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the ones that were rollers and they have like, little glitter speckles. <laughs> something extra. Something that I think is extremely important to whenever you wear any type of lip product, and that is a lip scrub. You can make these yourself at home with brown sugar and oil. I think they use olive oil. And it, they're still hydrating, pretty cool. But my favorite is the Lush. I can't find my. I keep talking. <laughs> My favorite is the Lush Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. This is the only one that I can like stand licking off because the taste is also really good. I'm just gonna say, from a person who has done a lot of things with their lips, I recommend. No, oh my God, that's not what I meant. <laughs> but all the that's other ones the are best yeah, the other ones are the gross. bubblegum one is like good if you're really into bubblegum. And they have they popcorn. have popcorn that oh, no. Clinique has a whole black honey collection of really awesome things, and this is called Almost Lipstick. It's in black honey. Oh, surprise. Okay. It's like this very really sleek, nice little packaging, and you pull it out, and it's scary looking. It looks really dark, but it's not. Look, I'm wearing it right now, so I can just go ahead. Yeah, it's like a really flattering. It's black honey. There's no it's other really way to It's really sexy. I'm kidding. It's the amount of times you kissed, you'd be like, it's because that's how you show how sexy things are. The thing that's awesome about it is that it's like really good for daily, kind of a little bit darker lips, which is what I like the most because the contrast, like I said earlier. It's bomb, and you don't have to wear a bomb before, which I always do, because this is kind of a bomb. It's like, mm. it has very balmy texture. It feels like yeah. putting on a lip balm. Yeah, it looks really nice on lips too. So. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos with Elizabeth, give it a thumbs up. And even if you're not giving it a thumbs up, there's going to be more videos with Elizabeth. So, I'm important. Our next video that we're going to do together is going to be our favorite Lush products. So, subscribe to keep an eye out for that. You can find me below on Instagram and on my blog, but I think that's pretty much it. She's so. great. She's a really awesome person. Please subscribe to her. She's wonderful. Okay, sorry. This is like my fangirl. I am her fangirl. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye guys. It was nice being in this Bye! Time.